Many people dream of starting their own businesses, and Joe Andrula was no different. He longed to open his own kickboxing gym, and despite many setbacks, he kept on fighting. I was in college. I had just bounced a check for $35 for the phone bill. I had no money in my accounts, and I figured I'd go to a bank to get a loan. I went to bank after bank, and they told me to finish college. Then I went to a small business association. I wrote a couple of letters. I didn't get a response. So I started to go from landlord to landlord. It took me six months, and I found a landlord in Hoboken, New Jersey. The place was completely wrecked, and he agreed to let me and my brothers come in and clean out the whole place in exchange for two and a half months of free rent. Before I opened up, I had to get the heavy bags, and I found out that to buy it filled is going to be $100 more than to have it filled on my own. So what I did is I bought all the heavy bags unfilled for $50 a piece, and I filled them all with my clothes. By September of 1997, I was ready to open the gym, and I found out that it's zoned industrial. It took two months to get it rezoned now. We opened November 15th, 1997. In the beginning, I offered people a free trial class. I anticipated 73 people I had on the list to come, and only four people showed up. Six weeks later, we were up to like 150. Now we have over 800 members. The first year that we opened them went into the six figures. And last year we grossed like 380,000 in 2003 and ready in 2004, we've gone over that. Two more. Reva Lesonsky, editorial director of Entrepreneur Magazine, is here with some tips on starting your own business. Reva, good morning to you. I am. With all of the trial and tribulation that poor Joe went through, I mean, is it fair to say that you really have to follow your passion? Because it's going to be tough. It you better is. love it. You better love it. The, you know, I've related to you. When you had a bad job, you didn't want to get out of bed in the morning. This consumes your life. You really have to want to do this, want to make it happen, and love what you're doing, or you're not going to succeed. you got to have a plan. How do you create one? How do you know where to start? There's so, it's so easy today with our software. Just go buy some business plan software. There's a great website called bplan.com, and it walks you through it. It gives you examples of what other people did, so you can fill in the blank. You also say you have to go gorilla. In other words, what we talked about with Joe, we heard from him, is that he didn't have a lot of money. He was filling up those bags with clothing. I mean, most people who start businesses start with virtually nothing. How do they get the money if they don't get a loan from a bank? Well, 80% of startups are self-financed, so you can you can hit up your family, you hit up your friends, you you can barter for services, you can you can. And if the bank says no and no and no, do you just keep on trying? You have if you really want to be a